All right, hi guys. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Bluteo BS2. It is a Bluetooth sound box, um, a very small portable Bluetooth speaker. As you can see, it is, uh, my hands are about medium size and it's pretty much about the size of my hand. Um, it has four buttons on top, a power button, which also acts as the play and the pause button. Uh, it has your volume plus and minus which when you hold those down also does your track skipping. Uh, something strange is that it's backwards. Normally you'd think that plus would skip forward, uh, but in actuality, when you hold down the minus sign, it's gonna skip your tracks forward in your playlist, and the plus sign is going to go backwards in your uh, playlist or your podcast. The um, 3D DSP sound effect is something that's advertised in this speaker. This is this button right here. It doesn't really make a big difference. I've never found the need for it. You can kind of hear the difference, but basically all it does is take some frequencies and it throws them into the back a little bit. So to me, it's not a preferred feature or not a preferred sound that I would ever use. So uh, you get some nice packaging from Bluteo. Uh, it comes in a nice box like this. It's Bluetooth 4.1, that's the profile. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this thing out of the box here and we're going to show you what you get. So it would open like this and your speaker would be in here and then you're going to get a small box that's going to contain your charging cable, just your typical micro USB charging cable that comes with almost every uh, electronic now. You're also going to get your line in audio cable which you can go on the side of this if you didn't want to go Bluetooth, if you just wanted to go direct to your device. Uh, your charging port is right here next to your line-in audio. It's just a standard eighth inch cable, so you could use this cable in the car if you didn't want to use it for this. So it's nice that they throw that in there. Um, those are the only two different sections on here. Basically the rest of it is just completely the speaker and it looks like you can visually see two speakers that fire towards the front. The back is open and ported uh, which kind of the, the bass and the low frequencies are going to come out of the back um, so you probably wouldn't want to put it right up against a wall. You'd want to let it breathe a little bit so that uh, some of that sound and some of that bass will kick out from the back. Um, this is a really good sounding speaker. I'm, this, I've never owned one this small before. I'm a little snobbish on my audio, admittedly, but these devices like this are making it so convenient to take your audio where you go that uh, it, the sound, I mean, it's catching up. This, this is a great sounding speaker. It definitely accentuates the mids and the highs, but there is some low in there and you can feel it when you hold it and you can also hear it. I mean, of course, something this size is, is not gonna put out a lot of low frequency, but it's definitely there enough to use it for uh, what its purposes are. I'll tell you, just to finish up, some quick things that I use it for that I really love. When I take a shower, I, I bring this and I put it right on top of my towel rack right next to the shower and it gets super loud. Um, and then as far as the dinner table, if we're eating, I will take it and place it right on the dinner table and play some nice dinner music if you're trying to have a nicer dinner. Um, another thing that it's awesome for is if you put it on your nightstand and you can run sleep type music, you know, your pink, pink, um, noise, white noise, any type of nature, landscape, uh, music, or anything like that to help you fall asleep. And then f my wife likes to use it with um, our son when he will watch something on the tablet or on the phone and you want to get a little bit better sound. It's so small, you can throw it in the car, um, you can use it in the house. It's so much better than most of the tablet speakers and phone speakers, so it's really quick to pair up. Okay, I wanted to give a quick demonstration. When you get it out of the box, there's a few different prompts that may be a little tricky. The power button is on the far right when you're staring at it from the front. You're gonna hold it down for approximately four seconds to turn it on, but before you do that, I've unpaired it with my phone, so it's like the first time I've ever used it, and we're gonna hold it down and see how long it takes to get into pairing mode. So after four seconds, you'll hear it say power on, and we'll keep holding it, and then a few seconds later, it'll put, in, put it in pairing mode. Two, three, four. Power on. Continue pairing. holding. So it takes about one to two more seconds and it's pairing right now and your red and blue lights will be flashing like most other devices. Um, I scan on my phone and it immediately comes up 
and I click the BS2, it'll be BS-2 on my Android. It'll say connected, and then we'll go right into it from there. So let me show you what this thing sounds like. It's going to be really difficult considering um, the audio that we're using to record this to get a true idea of what it sounds like. But I'd feel bad if I didn't turn it on at least while we're doing that. Let me try to give you something that has a little bit more kick and bass in it. Little DJ Premiere here. And this is with 3D turned off. It gets louder than you would ever need it, for sure. I know my streets, I know my sound. Y'all know my beats, so I get down. I take my steps and beats and bounds. Okay, once you want to turn it off, it's a little tricky. My wife had a hard time in the beginning because it actually does some type of noise before it turns off. So we're going to hold that power button down, and it's going to be one, two, and then it beeps, but it's not actually off. You have to keep holding power it down, off. and then you'll hear it say power off. So once we turn it on, we've got four seconds again. Power on. It's on, and then Still it'll connected. it connects in about two seconds if your Bluetooth is on on your device. And then when we turn it off, remember it's going to beep once, and you keep holding it down, and you'll hear this. Power off. See, that one actually took a little bit longer than normal. I don't know what it was there, but that can be really tricky if you're trying to turn that off because you had to hold it down for almost five or six seconds. So hopefully that doesn't throw anybody off, but I definitely recommend the Bluteo. Uh, it's a great price, comparable to the speakers that you find in Best Buy that are double, triple the price. Um, and I use this thing every day now. So let me know if you have any questions, and uh, I will try to answer them. Thanks for watching.